Hey guys, it's Jameez with OolalaBlog.com, a fashion and lifestyle blog where I'm sharing beauty and style tips, shopping guides, and my absolute favorite ways to save. But today's video is all about beauty. I have been playing in makeup. Y'all, I am trying a glitter eye that I found to be a little simple. I've created my own little beauty hack to help me try some major makeup trends. I am very much a novice as it comes to uh, makeup, but I really wanna try some of these trends and I found a couple of hacks that's helping me recreate the major makeup looks. So this is one of my beauty hacks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Hey y'all, I am going to talk through this video instead of doing a voiceover like I did last time and I'm going to try to get all up and close so you can see um, a little bit more of what I'm doing to um, do my makeup. And for this look, I think I am going more with trying to play with some glitter just because it's the holidays and trying to do something festive. So here we go. And my process is kind of the same um, as far as like the basics of foundation and what I'm doing as far as like get my face and stuff together so as it is now i already have on like my moisturizer and things like that and now i'm uh, about to go in with my primer so this is my favorite primer right here black radiance true complexion shine control primer this is my favorite but i'm also going to go in too with maybelline's uh baby skin it's pore filling or what's well, called the instant pore eraser so I feel like just around here, you can see my pores a little bit more than I would like. So I'm going to go in with the this primer first, just in this area, and then go in with the matte primer. And again, this primer is not like super like matte, like some of the other primers will have your face. So it's still um, mattifying though. And just bear with me as it relates to the mirror because I like to have my little handheld mirror right in my face. And I know last time I was blocking the view, my friend came for me. Hey, Julie. She said it looked like I had um, <laughs> an iPad or a laptop or something right there in my face. <laughs> so I'm just patting it in, patting it in, patting it in. And this is like a clear consistency. It's clear. So you're not really seeing it, but I'm, I'm packing it in up in here, honey. Packing it in up in here, honey. Then I am coming through with um my True Complexion. I really love this, y'all. And this is my last bottle, so I gotta order some more from Amazon. Because I told y'all I can't find it in um, the store. So, there's that. And so, I'm just going through, going through. So, y'all, I have literally been trying to get my Christmas tree in order. And when I tell you, that has been a process. And so, um, I started going shopping for my ornaments on Black Friday because everybody was having a sale on ornaments and whatnot. And so, I initially came in with my vision that I wanted this black and white tree, you know, to be all like chic and stuff getting away from the traditional um red and green so i decided to try like black and white well i went to the store and i could not find anything that was just like black and white and all the white um decorations i found had like hints of silver hints of gold in it so and i just wanted all white everything and um black <clears throat> so once i realized that wasn't going to happen i had to come back to the drawing board and 
think of some other things for um, my Christmas decorations. So I came up with um, gold, silver, and the white because the white has the hints of silver and gold in it. So it'll be fine. So anyway, that's what I came up with. And um, I bought um, a lot of things, y'all. A lot of things for the tree. Then... I order my tree so that's why I had the problem mix up I should have ordered the tree before I bought the ornaments but I did not because all the trees in stores were like so expensive I didn't know artificial trees were that expensive so all the trees I found were like 200 300 and I'm like oh well how why so I went to my girl Amazon hey Amazon girl I went to Amazon and um I found ouch, a cute little tree and I got a nine foot tree y'all like who I think girl you live in an apartment and I would have got that big old tree but um the ceiling in my apartment is like um, 10 feet high so it worked all right I'm about to go in with my eyebrow gel from NYX it's NYX um, eyebrow gel and I use the color espresso so I just usually put everything on a baby wipe I use baby wipes constantly so I put um, the eyebrow gel on a baby wipe clean my brush like usually wet it down a little bit um, so I can come in and shake my brows and so I have really um, thick brows I kind of come in every now and again to like cut and try and get all the um, crazy hairs out of the place. All right, so I am now about to come in and do my eyebrows. And let's rock and roll. Y'all, this is such the, to me, this is like the hardest part of my face because if I mess up, I gotta start again, so. I don't know how people wait to the end to do their eyebrows because that's just not going to happen. And I'm freaking out because I really want to grab that mirror. But my friend said it was not a good look. I love y'all. I might have to grab that mirror. But I'm going to keep it down low. I'm going to keep it down low. I'm going to keep it down low. Let me see. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Clean my brush with this little baby wipe and try again on this side. I always start in the back first. I don't know why, but I always start in the back first. And these brows, y'all, need some work so bad. I should have came through and tried to cut before I started doing this, but I did not. So there's that. Oh my God, y'all, I need my mirror. I need my mirror. I'm trying so bad not to use this, but it's, I need it like up in here, but I'm gonna keep it down low. Okay. This one looks just like I need it to look. It did not, I didn't have to work real hard on this eye. With her homegirl over here trying to take me out. Mm. 
Okay, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have to redo this one. I'm gonna have to redo this one. Told y'all, you messed up the whole thing, honey. I ain't like that, sis. I ain't like it. I gotta start it over. Oh! Okay, let's try this suck again. We are almost done with these brows, baby. These brows be taking your girl through it. Okay. Whew. Now I'm about to come through and um, clean it up a little bit, smooth out all this concealer. Again, I just take my brush and rub it on this baby wipe. Wet it up a little bit. And then come through and smooth it out. Smooth it out. So, doing this step, it just really helps, like... fix any mistakes you made in the process like if you went out of the line or whatever like coming through with the concealer like really cleans it up that's it and this the best i think i can do right now i'm sure i could have did a little better but this looks good let me take my mirror to check it out I want to do some more work to it, but if I start messing with these eyebrows, I'm going to be on it all day. So, that's why a lot of girls do the eyebrows off camera. So, it's already done. Okay, that, that's it, y'all. That's it, because I can't take no more. I mean, it's other things. I feel like I could just fix it up a little bit more, but I'm, I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm done with that portion of it, okay? And it's probably, too, because I'm over here on this thing on camera making myself nervous. So I'm going in with my favorite drugstore foundation, the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage foundation i love this stuff y'all the only thing is when it gets low it's so hard to get the rest of your stuff out to get the rest of the product out and it's some in there but anyway just come in just squirt a little heel squirt a little down squirt a little heel squirt a little down mm, 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 mm. yes 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 and i'm going to Again, with my brush, I'm using a stipple brush and I'm not mixing um, the other concealer, not the other concealer, the other foundation. I might, let's see. Um, I use um, 336 Warm Bronze a lot as well. And I use that sometimes to mix with these two. Yeah. 
Let me see if this, I got any in here. Nope, come on, come on. Nope, 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 let's see. See, that's what I'm saying, look at this bottle. All this product and nothing's coming out. Let's see. Here go another one too. Let's see what I got. Come on, girl. There we go. We got a little some some. Just a little bit. Let we go. And now I'm finna come in after again, wetting this thing up with my stipple brush. This is, who made this? Oh, I don't know. Don't sell me the line, but I'm come through and go up in this thing. Just boom, 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 boom. Put this thing in. Back to my Christmas tree, because I was talking about that Christmas tree anyway the um christmas tree finally came because it was late it finally came let me not say it was late but with amazon prime you are expected to get everything within a couple of days like maybe two days but this um took a hot minute to get here and i already knew it was going to be two days so that's why i'm saying it wasn't late um but um compared to the normal amazon prime shipping and how that process go this one seems a little bit um longer for my taste anyway so the tree got here on thursday and i'm like all right i ain't i'm gonna worry about it um over the weekend then i took a nap and woke up super late like almost 11 o'clock and i'm up at that point so i'm like might as well go ahead and start working on this tree oh my god y'all I did not know it was gonna be a process like that so I put the tree up the tree in the assembly process super easy it was not difficult at all the whole putting it up that was not hard and what was hard was fluffing the tree I hear a lot of people talking about how big you want it how good you want the tree to look it depends on how um long you fluff it out in the extent that you fluff out those branches because when you get your tree it comes with the branches kind of like all together like this and in order to get them out you gotta like do some fluffing and so i fluffed my tree fluffed each branch and when i tell you it took so long and i cut up my hands on those little fake um branches got a lot of scratches and it took me almost two hours to fluff that tree and it still wasn't fluffed to the point where I felt um, it looked its best. So I had to come back on Friday during my lunch break and fluff that tree some more. I got the tree fluffed out and still at this point there are no decorations on the tree. Friday when I got off work, I ran errands and then I decided, okay, let's look at the tree again. And that's all I did. Looked at that sucker because Jamise was tired and was like, "Girl, no, we are not about to do anything with this tree." And I didn't at all. I'm taking my um real techniques sponge and I just squeeze it into my baby wipes. Some people like wet theirs completely in water. I don't want it to be that wet. I just want it to be a little damp. And so your baby wipe is already damp anyway. So just squeeze it in there. Then I'm gonna come through and use this to kind of like smooth out um, my foundation. Smooth it out. And y'all see when I use all that concealer for my, um, to shape my eyebrows, but I come through and cover up all that concealer with my foundation. So you can't even tell I use all that concealer for the most part. Cause it's covered up with the foundation and then i come out and just smooth everything and so i don't even have i don't i mean looking at it in my mirror it doesn't look like i have on a whole bunch of foundation either come through there we go 
All right, and now I am about to do the same thing with my concealer. I am using two different concealers today. I'm using two concealers being a little extra. But I'm using the e.l.f. 16-hour um, camo concealer in the color Deep Olive. I'm going to use um, that first. And then I'm going to come in and use the Milani Conceal and um, Perfect Concealer as well. And I'm using this in the color Warm Tan. So coming through, coming through, coming through. Just coming up underneath. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Dun, dun, dun. On my chin. Sometimes I told you I go down the breeze of my nose and sometimes I don't because I don't um, contour my face. Like, well, I contour like my cheeks, but I don't go up the side of my nose and all of that. I don't. So I just don't really see a point of just only doing the bridge of my nose. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't. I might come through with this and do the bridge of my nose. It's just how, how I'm feeling in the moment. And again, I'm about to use a smaller, um, real technique brush to go up underneath my eyes and things like that and i'm just got a clean baby wipe and doing the same thing just getting it a little damp getting it a little wet coming through coming through what y'all doing my little dogs over there acting up okay boom 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 blending it out blending it out blend 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 and I put my concealer on my um on my eyelids as well. And I think this is a good step, especially if you don't want to wear any um found not foundation, but any um eyeshadow. So everything looks all seamless. And this especially for me because I have um dark under eyes and my eyelids are dark as well. So I'm just going through again, coming through underneath. Blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. Blend it out, blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. The same thing. Now I'm gonna come through and do the same thing with this concealer to me this one is a little bit lighter so that's why i use it last boom boom and here i go i felt it i felt it my hand said go ahead and do the bridge of your nose jamies there you go i told y'all sometimes i just my hands just ooh. <laughs> and i'm coming through again with the um baby wipe Getting this one real juicy fine. Getting this one wet. Uh-uh. 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 Y'all done lost y'all mind. Not today. Not today. Not today. Those are the two live crew. Y'all got them an Instagram page. It's called Two Live Zoo. Because they're shit zoos. <laughs> All right. And so just come back on top of that. Blending it out. Blending it out. Blending it out. Blend, 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 blend. Doing the same thing. Okay, so we're in Mount at Christmas tree. All right. And then Friday, I told y'all I came home from work. And I was supposed to work on the tree. And I didn't work on it because I was tired. Yeah, that was that. And then Saturday morning, I get up, start working on the tree. I put all my lights on because I did not buy a tree with the um, lights already included. Because I was reading a lot of reviews. And some people said they're getting their trees and the lights aren't working and um they're having to replace a lot of bulbs and i'm just like mm, no i don't want to do that so a part of me wish i did and then a part of me um i'm glad i did not get the tree with the um bulbs already on it anyway so i'm putting the um christmas lights on just putting them on trying to get it going that's my first step after the tree has been fluffed out getting the um christmas tree lights on so i had about 300 lights and i thought that would be enough for a nine foot tree i was wrong um it probably would have been okay if i wrapped the lights in a nice fashionable way or you know some way 
of order, but I just put the lights on anyway I thought would work. So I get to the bottom of the street and I don't have any more lights. So I had to go to Walmart and buy more lights. Like I'm telling y'all, I could not be done with this tree. I had to go to Walmart, buy more Christmas lights. So when I was in Walmart, I bought a Christmas skirt and some stockings. Um, then, I mean, the Christmas skirt was only $3. I was on the fence about it anyway. It's supposed to be like some fake snow. And I was like, hmm, will that look okay? I'm not sure. So I bought it anyway just to check it out. I got the Christmas stockings. The stockings are okay. Um, I had some other stockings in my bag that I probably should have just bought at the end of the day. But these are okay. I mean, they, they're good for what they're good for. And I'll just leave it like that. So, I mean, next year I'll probably get some other ones. Some ones that I really wanted. But I just was not about to pay $40 for these stockings for me and two dogs. Because those are the only folks who are in this house. Anyway, so I went to Walmart, bought my lights, bought some stockings. And then I bought a tree skirt and some um, ornament hooks. Went to Ross and found a really cute um, tree skirt. Got that. Came back home last night, y'all, and started working on this tree. I put up the first, like, 15 ornaments, and I was like, hell no, baby. I'm tired. I don't want to. What, what was I thinking? I, I don't even want to be bothered with this tree. I was up, y'all, so late putting this tree up. Just like. I mean, my God, that's why folks put the tree up together as a family, I see, because one woman trying to put this tree up, baby, that was hard work. All right, y'all, I'm about to come in now with my, um, what is it called? My powder. I'm using the Maybelline um, 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 powder. What's this thing called? Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I use this to set um, my concealer. Like, any place I put concealer, I use this to um set it and this is another drugstore product i really like it i've literally put down some of my high-end um setting powders to use this because it's good i think it's on par with some of the um, high-end setting powders and i don't get a lot of flashback pretty much no flashback actually so uh, that's another reason why I, I use it and it doesn't look really like ghostly i'm using um medium deep so they have another shade i believe a little bit darker than this as well so if you um if your skin tone is uh, darker than mine a little more rich than mine they got options for you as well so again just coming through with my little puff brush and this is what I just use this brush for to come through and uh, set this concealer. Anywhere I put the concealer, I'm coming through with the brush and just blending it on in. And I do that on my eyelids as well. Again, just in case I don't want to wear eyeshadow, like everything is kind of blended. Okay. Boom. All right. Now I am about to come through with my... Um, contouring powder i use a powder instead of a um stick sometimes i use the black radiance sticks but right now i'm using the black radiance um, powders to come through and contour my cheeks and go around my little forehead then we're going in with the eyeshadows and almost done after that point so let me go ahead and come through lord what did i do with my i'm almost out of this powder it looks like this and I, I have hit pan because i love this just that much it's only four or five dollars but we got some around the corners and so what i do to get my product i just boom tap it up and now the product is now in the middle and i can play with it i can play with it my name is jamise and i get my money's worth okay i get my money's worth come through pat it all in <laughs> I'm laughing at myself with the face I'm making.
all right coming through on my forehead There we go. So we got the foundation, I mean, the concealer in place. Now, yeah, it just adds some warmth, I think, to my face. Because once you put the powder on and all of that, it just warms it up. That's why I like it so much. So now I have that in place. And sometimes if I want just a little bit more, I come through with this, um blush from juvia um juvia place palette it's the saharian blush volume one and i use this color right here and i use that to add a little bit more color into my face as well and i'm just and this is highly pigmented so i only just do a little pop pop because look it's it's really pigmented and boom you can already see the color so you got to blend this sucker out but blend her, blend her. And I don't use this on my forehead because it's more like rosy. Blend this baby out, honey. Blend her out, baby. Oh, <laughs> my hands sore because you had to blend sister out. All right, so we done with that part. Come on, let me see it. Blend. Let's keep blending. Blend it. Blend it, 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 blend Okay. Make sure that's good across the top. Whew. Okay, girl. Okay, we, we getting somewhere. We getting somewhere. Just like I was working on that tree last night. Making progress. We making progress. And now... I am about to go in my favorite part, doing my eyeshadow. My favorite part, my favorite part is doing the eyeshadow. I don't know, y'all. I just really like doing my eyeshadow. And I am coming in with um, one of my little uh, MAC palettes I made for myself. And I'm using this color. I can't tell you even what this color is. But it's more like a rust color. And I'm using that as my first transitional shade. I'm just going to use that. And blend sus on out. Blend it on out. And just, I take my head all the way down to the bottom. That way I know I'm going to be light. Instead of like, if I'm tight like this, it's going to just, it's not going to blend lightly. So I just move my head all the way down to the bottom. And just go in lightly light strokes and i'm putting it usually where i uh my eye um like near like the creasy area just circular motions real light real light really really light circular motions really light really light let me get up close on this part y'all Y'all, I'm really, I don't know how I feel about these eyebrows. They really <sighs> do the same on the other, other lid. Just taking my time. Circular motion. Circular, circular. Circular, circular motion. Take your time, Jamise. Take your time, girl. So, um, I like this color. I think it goes with a lot of um, eyeshadow combinations. I just think it's kind of like my base. Again, just circular and just blending it out. I take my time with this shade. Just because, boom, in the boom, in the boom. And now I'm about to go through with Juvia um, palette. Juvia Places palette and use a, another brush to go on the corners and i'm using a dark color on my corners it's almost like a um a black i'm trying to find the palette it is from let me see if i can find it it's from the warriors um two 
palette I'm going to go through with these two shades right here like this like this one is more like a gray and this one is more like a black so I'm gonna go through with the black first and then I'm gonna go with the gray on top of it and so I'm using a brush that's similar to my other blending brush that I just did on this one because again I don't want it to be super harsh even on um, my corners Just take my time, just something. You see how pigmented these shadows are? Like, I'm going to tell you, Juvia's Place going to have her some pigmented shadows. If she don't do nothing else, them palettes, them shadows, baby, pigmented, pigmented. <laughs> A little more on this side. Again, just boom, go real light with it, real light with it, real light with it. Real light with it. There we go. Just boop, boop, and a boom. Okay, now we get somewhere, girl. We get somewhere. Now we're going to come through with that little gray on top. I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna use a different brush. I want to use that one, but I'm just scared it ain't gonna show up good. So I'm gonna go through with another one. A similar brush. You see how these um just looks the same to me. Coming through with that little gray at the top. It still look a little black, but it's gray. And I'm gonna just put that on top of it. And then I'm gonna kind of bring it on in. Bring it on in. Still coming through on that corner, but bring it on in, bring it on in, bring it on in. Same thing, come through on that corner, girl. Bring it on in, bring it on in. And again, you see where my hands are at the bottom? Because it's just like I don't have a tight grip, so it just makes it easier to be loose with it. Okay? Alright, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. And now I'm about to come through with my gold, okay? I'm going to do a gold shadow first. And then I'm going to use, um, I hope I can find all of my, my glitter. Where are my glitter colors? Oh, I hope I can find my glitters because I had a gold glitter. Oh, I hope I can find my gold glitter. I had a gold glitter out. Let me look in my bag for my gold glitter. Ooh, Jimmy's, where's your gold glitter? I had that freaking gold glitter out and now I don't see it. I have some other glitters that I can use, but I was hoping to use this gold just because, um, well, because I've worked with the gold before, but oh well, I guess I won't use the gold glitter. I'll try, um, all the glitter is by Hard Candy, but I'm gonna look a little bit more, but honey, that's just, I thought I had my gold glitter out, but anyway. And this is so interesting that the gold glitter is not what's found. Oh, I found it. I knew I wasn't crazy. I had that gold glitter out. Here it is. So I got that going. So I'm just put that to the side. I don't mind all my Ziploc bags because my daddy put me on the Ziploc bags for these makeup bags. Anyway, um, all right. So back to the shadow, honey. Using another Juvia's Place palette. I wish I could just make like move all of my favorites into one easy palette. That would be good. Now I'm finna use this. I'm finna, I'm about to use this brush. Here's the gold where I'm hitting pan. I need more of this. The other colors are good too. As you can see, I'm hitting pan on some of the other ones, but you know where I'm over here digging into because I love this one. Come through and just um pat it here. I'm patting this in. I'm not like going left to right. I'm just patting this in. Pat, 
to the same, do the same on this eye, pat it in, pat it in. All right, um, I'll come through with this to make sure it's like coming in together. I don't want it to look separate. I want it to look like they like know each other. I don't want them to social distance. Okay. Try a little more. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, 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 pat. Okay. So I done did that portion. And now, I mean, that's fine. And I'm gonna come through with one of my clean brushes over here. One of these, it's another one. I got a lot of these. And just come through with my little brush at my little mirror and just, what in the world I got on this? And just clean it up. You know, just clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Like trying to blend them out a little bit, blend it out, clean it up, blend it out. There we go, there we go. And I'm taking this first one with my transition color and coming back to, to blend it just a little bit more. Okay, so I think that's the basics, that's the base of it. And so what I normally do, because I'm not like this huge glitter girl. So this is like glitter basics for beginners like myself when it comes to glitter. What I use is um, NYX has these, um, these sparkle eyeliners. I hope they still have them because I bought this a while ago. And what I do is lay this, the sparkle eyeliner onto my little gold section and then I come through and add the um glitter on top of it so I usually take like a napkin or something like that or one of my baby wipes and lay out my glitter on that and so when I come through um once I've already put the little eyeliner on I can come through with the glitter and use it as well so I'm gonna go ahead and already lay out my glitter just I just Tap the glitter on out. So I have enough. Because look how it, it's like real little. So you ain't about to just throw all of it down. And just be dipping your fingers in a whole bunch. <laughs> dipping your brush rather in a whole bunch. Okay, so I'm about to go through with the um, eyeliner. I'm just putting that on to my lid. But you can already see it's gold and stuff. And it, it, it gets tacky. So it gives the um eyeshadow it gives the glitter something to like hold on to. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing on this lid just where i had the little gold and this looks more like goldy so it also almost make my original gold color look orange all right so we got that going i'm gonna add just a little bit more because i wanted to be able to pick up all the um glitter that i'm gonna use Okay, so we got that in place and I'm going to use one of uh, my little brushes like this. It seems like the hairs are a little bit more dense and I use these for like my um, colors that I won't use right here. But anyway, I'm going to use this, wet it a little bit with my baby wipe, my baby wipe, and then go in where the glitter is and you see where it is on here. So let's see what it do, baby. Okay, Jamies. Okay. 
Now I got me a little glitter on my little eyeshadow. My eyelid. Look at the glitter. Okay, she doing a little something. She doing a little something. Then I'm going to do the same with the other eye. <laughs> Again, this is glitter for the beginners. Okay, this is for the beginners. <laughs> With my little brush again, with my baby wipe. Boom, look at all this product. Let me see, and I'm gonna place it right here. Just pat it on in, Jamie's. Pat it on in, pat it on in, pat it on in. Come back and use it on this eye. And I think look good. Okay. So now you can see the glitter. So now I'm going to come through and clean it up. Because now I have glitter on my lids. And glitter everywhere else. So I'm about to come through and clean it up. So I'm going to take this brush. I remember my fluffy brush that I use um, for the loose powder. I'm going to come through and add just a little bit more powder onto the brush. Just a little bit. Nothing major. Um, to clean up this um. Is glitter come through? Come through, come through because it's like you know a little fallout. And oh, this looks I actually like it. I mean, y'all gotta, I, I actually like it. And I'm gonna come through again with my transitional color and just you know, more blending, more blending, and my little dark color on the side. Bring her on in a little bit. More blending. More blending. All right. So we are done with this eyeshadow. I'm going to come through and um, add something at the down here. I don't know what color I want to use. I don't know if I want to use like a pink or something just to have fun. I think I'm going to use a little pink just to have fun so i'm gonna use that as a liner as you guys I, some of you don't know but i don't use like liner for my eyes i don't use like a liquid liner or even a pencil or anything i just felt like at one point i felt like i just had too many lines in my face i'm like Ooh, are these wrinkles and i'm like i'm not about to add to it with a with another line crazy thinking jimmy's i know but i like it without it and i recently added some liner and i didn't like it It just looked too it was too much for my liking so i am looking for my um i have a like a really cute color from mac it is a um reddish glittery color and i want to use that at the bottom all right, I'm going to come through with this Dazzle Glaze eyeshadow from MAC. And I am going to line the bottom of my eye, like my waterline, with this. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> because I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But let's see. We just going to have a little fun with her. We just going to do what she do. Just get that on this little brush. And we're going to get it going. Just look at it. Just add a little more color. Now we got a little more color. Here we go. Boom, got a little more color. Okay. Okay. And so now we're done with that. Just come through underneath. Make sure I'm fluffing it out. Fluffing it out. 
And now I am done with my little eyes before I put my mascara on. So I am now looking for my little spray for my face. I spray my face with some e.l.f. Um, setting spray. Here we go. And then I'm going to come through. Okay. I, I use a lot too because it kind of helped my face not to look cakey. And there's one thing I really like about it because it's just like just spraying that kind of eliminates that. Ooh, I probably should have used some blue eyeliner, but this will do. This will do. This will do. And now I'm coming through with my mascara. I'm using the um, L'Oreal Telescopic. Uh, this is the original, the one that is like carbon black is still my favorite, but I'm not out of this one. So I'm still using this one. I'm just, I'm going to take my time because I always smudge underneath my eyebrow, um, my eyebrows on my bottom lashes. So just pray for me y'all. So I'm sorry if y'all can't see this part. Okay, in the bottom lashes and I'm coming up here. I don't have to spend a lot of time just stretching them out a little bit because I'm going to put on some false lashes. I think this is just like a real easy um, at home beginner glitter look. Again, just putting on to stretch these lashes before I put on my fake lashes. Uh, just doing this just helps them blend better to me. Okay. All right. Now I am going to use another brush to set the other parts of my face that i did not set with the um with the maybelline fit me loose powder i'm actually coming in with the maybelline super stay um full coverage powder foundation powder and i'm just going to use that on my forehead and kind of underneath this area that's where i didn't use the other powder so just you know setting the other places Come through, just do this up on the here. Just set the rest of my face, the face part, the face, the part that I didn't use um the loose powder on. So boom, boom, boom. There we go. And then I am going to come through and add my um favorite thing, my highlighter. Mm -mm. And this look is a little bit um you know a little drama a little drama so i'm gonna be heavy handed on this um what do you call it the highlighter and don't care and don't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go girl go girl yes and i'm not tired and i'm not done yet and she ain't. And she ain't. Mm. Keep smiling. Keep smiling. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Now, again, I told you that a lot of people use the um, this thing underneath. Or use like a liquid illuminator or something like that. That's cute, too. I don't I use this powder and I, I y'all I came a long way with it too I came a long way with it I used to be off the chains with this powder I'm looking for a, another brush that I had to kind of blend it out a little bit more I have another little brush that I use and I'm looking for it I don't see it Oh well, I thought I had another little brush. I don't see my little extra brush. 
Oh well. Oh well. I was working with my um working with a new photographer um the other day and he was like, How do you know which where everything is? I'm like, I don't. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. And just kind of like smooth it out a little bit. Kind of blend it up a little bit. So it don't look too harsh. But that light already hitting it. And I like the way it look. Do the same thing. All right. We got all her. We got her blended out a little bit. And then I'm going to come through and put something like right up in here. Like this little piece. I kind of like that. Putting a little sum right here. And I'm just using like a gold. And a little, making it a little extra since I'm already looking like a Christmas tree with all this glitter. Might as well keep it going, sis. I really, I like my little glitter. All right, so now what I'm about to do, because I told y'all I went done with this. <laughs> I thought I was, and then I had saw the brush, and I said, keep going, sis, keep going. All right. I am now about to um, put on my molds, the molds that were covered up when I put on this thick foundation, this full coverage foundation. It's covering up beauty marks that I was born with and such. So I am going to um, put that back on and I use my um, NYX matte eyeliner. This is what I use it for. That's the only reason why I buy this eyeliner. And that is it. Oh, and I'm going to put on my, um, what you call them things? my little wings, my um, eyelashes, and lipstick. And I'm going to come back. And the lipstick is going to be very neutral, very basic, because I'm over here doing the most already. Told you I look like a Christmas tree. So we just going to do something real simplified. And boom, baby, we're going to be done with this look. Okay. So I'll be right back. I'm not even about to play with y'all and try to put them eyelashes on on camera. Y'all not about to get me this time. Mm -mm. So I'll see y'all in a couple of minutes. All right, y'all. So the eyelashes are on. We are here. The moles are here. I am good to go. She is coming to life. All right. I'm about to um, put my lipstick on. I'm using this brown um, pencil by NYX. I have used her to the nizzle. She down to the nub. And I'm using um, raw chocolate lipstick by... Um, Maybelline and I'm going to come on top with um, NYX Butter Glass and I don't know the color of this but I can find out. I'm going to hurry up and do this because my camera is acting a fool and keeps trying to cut me off. So there's that. I need to sharpen this pencil because baby I'm over here cutting my lips. Let's see. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, girl. That's enough, baby, because some lips was like, help me, help me. Come through with these raw chocolates. Mm -hmm. Coming through with this butter glass, and we are going to be done. And that is that, y'all. That is that. Let's go. Let's go, little kitty cat. Let's go. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm about to change, and y'all going to get this full glam. This is all for beginners now. Don't be coming for me, you uh, MUAs. All right.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had a really good time filming it. This is my go-to glitter eye routine. Let me know if you found it to be helpful. Let me know if you like the look. Let's chat. Let's chit chat down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Of course, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.